here is a shocking reason why uh, DA hates oh, Dr. Shope with passion. They don't want to hear anything that has got to do with Dr. Shope. I've got a video, um, it is about eight minutes long, uh, where oh, Dr. Shope destroyed one of the judges that was there operating or masquerading as a magistrate who is a, look, a fair, independent, and you know what I'm saying? All this sort of good word, look, a good uh, wedding, only to find that this person is related to, I think it's Helen Zille, and the judgment that they issued after that was in favor of none other than Helen Zille. I told you guys that there is a problem when you look at this organization's they don't represent the truth. They never love the truth. But whatever they, what, what they do is, it's, 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 it's not justice as long as it doesn't favor them. It is justice when it favors them. About Helen Zilla, they sit with people who have been uh, suspended by local legal, legal practice council and NPA. Yet these people have never questioned the integrity of such people in their organization. But they've got such an audacity to question MK Party's appointment of Dr. Lope. You see, I told you that there's a lot of hypocrisy within a DA. Take a look at what, oh, uh, how, oh, oh, the reason. This is just a snippet. I'm going to play you a long video after that. But for now, I want you to listen to Dr. Lope exposing one of the magistrates that, like, that is related to uh, uh, like, uh, Helen Zille. Take a look at this video here. This commission is with you. You would like us to recommend you for appointment, notwithstanding that you have acted for six terms and you only have one reported judgment, and other candidates have far more than that. Yes. Secondly, notwithstanding that you have not finalized a single criminal trial. And thirdly, notwithstanding the obvious delays which have been highlighted in terms of you handing down your judgment notwithstanding your experience as an advocate for 25 years, you still delay in handing down the judgments. And I can tell you from my experience as a judge president, candidates who delay in handing down judgments when they are still acting only become worse after the permanent appointment. So if it takes you six months to produce a judgment, the moment you are appointed, it will take you six years. So notwithstanding all of that, we must recommend you for appointment. Chief Chope, I, I, I've explained the, the matters that was highlighted. Thank you. No further questions. Yes, carry on, Mr. Rich. Or have you finished, Mr. Vest? Yes. Uh, uh, you finished? Okay. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Now, that is just a snippet, right? Oh, snippet. I'm going to give you a longer version of it. Just bear with me, right? Uh, um, it, it is coming. So now you understand when I say to you, we've got a problem of organizations in this country uh, that always react as long as the, the, like, the person who must be like, chased after is a black person, then they react. But if it's a white person, then they never react. Because uh, now the narrative is that uh, look, uh, look, the law is broken, and what breaks the law is the color, not a human being. Uh, no, 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 okay, it's not necessarily based on human beings, but it's based on what, look, it's based on the color of your skin. And I told you that there's a problem when you look at things from that perspective, right? So the organizations are always... Look, they, they have the vigor to defend the Constitution, but they never defended the Constitution against that magistrate. Where is my lie when I say it matters, your color, your color of your skin, the color of your skin, it matters in this matters. Where is my lie when I say that? This issue raised by Dr. Slope, if these people really, they were interested to safeguard the constitution, they would have been the first people to take that woman, uh, look, look, to, 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 to take her further. But they will never do that. As long as the person who is accused or 
even if there's a proof of misconduct, as long as that person is white, nothing is going to happen. That is what we see DA doing. Why the organizations are not after this woman? Why didn't they take this further to say, uh uh? We had this from Judge uh from, from Judge Lope. This is a serious thing. Remember that when you must rule over people, so we must defend the constitution because now they are defending the constitution. Why is the defense always when it is black people, but never when it is a white person? Told you, and I warned you about DA. Before we continue, take a look at this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay okay so you know you see what i'm saying to to you is i've been saying this and i'm going to say to you guys until you understand that these organizations they do not have the interest to defend the constitution as they say, but they pretend like they have a zeal to defend the constitution. If, tell me this, right? Uh, this magistrate who ruled in favor of a DA, yet this person was, his, was her cousin. Why, if, if there was an interest of justice, why didn't she recuse herself? What did DA do about that? If DA, eh, look, they are very concerned about law-abiding citizen because when they want to defend the constitution, I've been telling you, and I'm going to keep telling you until it sink in, until you understand that is not about the law. It's about their ambition. It's about, it's another form of racism. It's another form of oppression that we are, these people are subjecting us to. Yet you tell me, the air is going to liberate me. The air is going to liberate us. Here, but Here, Vugan, in Liasha. Vugan. I'm telling you. Now, listen to Dr. Slope here. Remember, I promised you a long video. Take a look at this. Chairperson, Mrs. Andrews, let's go straight to the point. You acted in the Western Cape, but left under a huge cloud. And for the benefit of this commission, I will explain. I allocated you a matter involving the Democratic Alliance and the ANC. I had no idea that the leader of the Democratic Alliance in Beaufort West and the Central Karoo is in fact your cousin. You did not return the file to me, you sat in the matter and ruled in favor of the DA. I took an unprecedented step to write to the Minister of Justice and asked him to cancel your appointment. Would you like to explain yourself why you sat in a matter where your cousin is a high-ranking politician of the DA in the Western Cape and ruled in favor of the DA thereafter? Thank you for, for the, the, the question, um, JP. I would like to, to say the following in response to, to that. First of all, when the matter was allocated to myself, it was allocated after I had returned a previous file to you, uh, JP, because of a conflict of interest. When the matter was given, when, when I received that matter, the matter um, had litigants by name and not by party. 
I think if my, 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 my memory serves, it was um, there were five applicants by name, and then there were eight respondents, the last of which was the Beaufort West Municipality. This matter um, concerned an administrative uh, uh, action where um, the applicants in the matter had applied to set aside some irregularities. Um, to the best of my recollection, it had to do with um, the appointment um, and unseating of, of the executive. The executive, as I can recall, consisted of the mayor and the, sorry, the, 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 the mayor, the deputy mayor, and the speaker was. Um, I'm sorry, Ms. Andrews, yes. uh, I'm interrupting you. Uh, please try and give brief answers. I will. I will. The question is a simple one. Why yes. did you sit in a matter involving the DA when you knew that your cousin was a high-ranking DA official? Right. That's the question. Thank you. I, first of all, um, ACJ, maybe just to cut to the point, is first, I, I did not know that this matter had any relevance or bearing to my cousin. I'll tell you why I say this is because he no, was no, not... No, 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 no. The question is... You would have known this matter is about it has been brought by the DA, isn't it? No, I did not, um, oh, ACJ. I did okay. not. So that is that is the point I'm making. Okay. No, I did not. That is why I'm saying okay. the parties were named in the individual capacities. It wasn't overtly, in my view, a politically weighted matter. For me, I took the. the but the, from the papers, was it not? It was clear not that clear. It was? No, it wasn't clear. Maybe it was my 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 naivety. I'll call it that, because I adjudicated the matter on the strength of the papers that were before me. So um, what, 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 what happened was that there was this unseating, and there was a, a plethora of, of irregularities that emanated from the processes leading up to that. And all that they wanted was for the status quo to return. Um, I'm aware that every step, um, that, that, that I'm aware that they had taken um, internal steps, but they did not. So um, the uh, point... Okay, hang on, Ms. Yes. Ms. Andrews, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you. Yes. I just want to make sure that we use the time. Certainly, I, I, I'm, yes. Is your answer to the judge president that you set in the matter because you were not aware that it involved the DA. Is that what you are saying? Yes, um, I was not aware. And then I think it, it is important for me to say the following. I am estranged from my cousin and was not following his political career at all. I have no relationship with him. And I do believe that I, was, I did bring an impartial mind to bear on the adjudication of that matter. So I did not do that intentionally, ACJ, I certainly would not have done so had I known. And I understand that I should have recused myself. I would have done so had I known. Did so, you know your cousin to be a high-ranking TA official? ACJ, yes, I, I knew some, I knew that he was in politics. I knew that he was aligned to the DA. But okay, that doesn't okay. necessarily mean that, by implication, I align myself to, to, to what, what he's doing. Okay. Judge President? Can I just follow it up, Chief Justice, and this is my last question. Yes. Mrs. Andrews, you must have known that he is a high-ranking member of the DA. It was all over the newspapers. He was hailed as the youngest politician in the DA, aged 29 years. You must have read that. I, I, don't, I don't dispute that, um, um, JP. What I'm saying, what I, I'd like just to reiterate, that I definitely did not do it with the intention of, of um, bolstering his career or 
to rule in favor of him simply because he was my cousin. I adjudicated the matter on the strength of the papers, and I believe that I needed to do so because the Constitution enjoins me to do so in terms of Section 160 because there was certainly um, there was no accountability and the steps were unprocedural. But the Judge President suggests that uh, prior to you hearing the matter, his association with the DA was all over in the newspapers. Would you, why would you not have been aware of that? I, I know that it may sound like I um, am disconnected, but I definitely do not um, particularly follow um, the news, and especially when it comes to him. I am not in the Western Cape, so my I'm, I'm, I'm located in, in KZN, so I wouldn't have really looked at things like that. So I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely um, sure whether I was meant to, 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 um, to follow his career because that wasn't, he, he isn't part of my, my, my circle. So I, I understand it was perhaps with the benefit of hindsight um, that I should have maybe have looked at it through a different lens. I might have had to, um, I did probably lack um, discernment, but that wasn't how I, I viewed it at the time. And I did apologize to the JP for my error, and I didn't at all. It was never my intention to do that. I think in my zeal, I, I may have just been overzealous, but certainly it wasn't my intention to, to be biased in any way at all. I understand um, the standards um, that is expected of me and when to recuse. I'm now going to give uh, Judge President, you are done. Yes, thank you. Okay, 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 let's proceed, yeah. So, I would like to tell you, officially so, it is okay for people to believe what they want to believe in. But whatever you want to believe in, let it be based on facts. You can't just believe anything because for the sake of believing anything. Um, I heard people saying, hi, uh, the DA uh, is going to do this. Uh, now, I, I don't know if you are noticing that these people don't care about you. They care about themselves. Yet they want to use you as an excuse. They want to use you as, an, uh, look, as a way to gain power. But really, this organization, Freedom Mandalo, Watch What What, it's called what? Watch What What, um, Ahmed Katranda Foundation. Uh, you, you name them, like, yo, yeah, guys, save SA, this and this. Where are they? What are they saving SA from when there is a magistrate who it has been proven that she presided over a case brought by a person? She knew exactly that this is this person we are related to. And she couldn't even defend herself, by the way. If you are listening to her, she knows that's a gross misconduct, right? And there is evidence to that gross misconduct but her gross misconduct is not going to destroy the constitution only a gross misconduct from judge Lope is worth to destroy the integrity of the constitution no kohle sabe vika benyanga ngeke 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 i mean kwa koke zola i mean kohle sabe vika benyanga ngeke you know, guys, let me tell you this. I know, and I'm, I'm going to tell you this, um, and I will say it with my chest out. I believe politicians lie, right? I believe politicians steal. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you this. There are people, when they steal, they still remember that, you know what? We can't bankrupt this country. And then there's a group, like, remember... In, in, look, remember in my look in my previous videos where I was talking about what Jacob Zuma have done, and I said to you, and I'm gonna say this again, and because I believe in this, and I said, and I will show you why that or how that is related to the current topic, right? Here is my my, my facts. I said 
when you look at how white people used to steal money in this country, they build institution, then they eat from the proceeds made by the institution they've built, right? And then I, go, I went on to name how FNB came about. It came, it, it came during apartheid, uh, Sasol. You name all this institution. Then they monopolized this institution. Uh, and then they created what we call it evergreen contract, where they will continue to benefit from the proceeds made by the organization. So they have a strategic way of stealing the money. And I said, remember in my video, I said Jacob Zuma had followed the same formula. Such people, I prefer them because they show that I, we love the country, so we will rather create a sustainable product or fun, look, a sustainable organization, but we will just take a few percentage, you know what I'm saying, and allow the organization to, pro, to, to, to progress. But then you have, you've got the, 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 the other ones, about Ramaphosa. They, they, they say I still taking 10% is no, 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 it's a waste of time. I'm going to sell the entire organization and make profit out of it. That's it. So I'm saying you are seeing the similar similarity. Look, you are seeing here similar similarities in that these people, the way they want to be treated, they want a first class treatment first preference at the expense of everybody else they don't think that okay if we do this we are going to kill the country no because they don't love the country they love their skin they love their supremacy right so even if it means the country must go down as long as the country is going down serving their supremacy then they don't have a problem that is what you are seeing now, you are seeing people who, for me, they look very angry that we are not in power, so they will do whatever it takes to disrupt. In place, there are people within the strategically in these organizations. And as long as it is one of their own who is committing a gross misconduct, they will never report that because that is not worth, uh, that is not worth, look, that, that is not worth their time. It's not a violation of the Constitution as long as it is them. I'm here to tell you that if you think for a second, yeah, it's going to liberate us. I think you're now seeing, it, seeing them for who they are. They don't love us. They love themselves, not us. And let it sink in. They don't love us. They love themselves. They've been demonstrating that time and again. They are demonstrating this to us. We don't love you. We will use you to climb into, the, into power, but we don't love you. We will do whatever it takes to protect ourselves, even when there is clear hypocrisy. How, do, how can I judge or preside over a case that, uh, like where my uncle, my close relative is involved in it. I shouldn't be involved in that case. But what has DA said about it? Zero. Where is the zeal and the enthusiasm to save the law from them? Told you. There's hypocrisy in that approach. It is saving the law as long as it is involved black people. Then they are very eager to take your brand leaf uh, to this uh, Lucky Montana, that uh, um, all these black people, Dr. Slope, to this, he, he has done this, he has done that. You, they, it's like they are waiting to see a small and a mistake from a black person and they will, uh, they will do whatever it takes to do that. I mean, to, to punish that person. We are... I'm saying to say, guys, wake up, smell the coffee. Somebody is playing us here. Wake up and smell the coffee, guys.